Good morning, this is Coach Brene. I'm Program Manager for the Bay City Facility, and this is Coach Silas. He'll be helping us out today as well. And this is our Tiny Ninjas video lesson number 22. So we're gonna be in class just like normal, and let's start with our feet together set position. So hands at our side, back straight, and we're going to bend and bow. Very good. Now, today, we're gonna to be working on our footwork. We're gonna be moving around while we do our martial arts. But the important thing is, is remembering there is a time and a place to do our martial arts and it's not with our brothers or sisters or we're not trying to hurt somebody so if someone tries to hurt us we are in a defensive pose so today we're going to get into our guard stance so silence let's go into our guard stance we have one foot forward one foot back hands are up by our cheeks so if someone does try to hit us we can use our arms to protect ourselves now, we need to create space. We need to be able to move around. So we need to be able to move our feet. So when we're in our guard stance, we're gonna work on stepping forward and stepping backwards. So the important thing is, is being able to pick up our feet and step forward. So we're gonna step with our lead leg, our front leg, followed by our back leg. So let's try this out. Step, step. Let's go one more forward. Step, step. Now let's go backwards. We're gonna step with our rear leg, our back leg, then our front. So step, 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 step. So the idea is if I'm going backwards, the back leg's first. If I'm going forwards, my front leg is going first. So, so let's step forward, please. And let's try this out. So if you guys would like, follow along with Silas and move with him in your guard stance. So hands up. When I say forward, Silas, I want you to take one step forward. Yes, if sir. I say backwards, you have to take one step backwards. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. Very good job. Hands are up, feet are forward. Very good. Ready, forwards. Good. Backwards. Backwards. Good. Forward. Forward. Backwards. And time. Good job. Now, ninjas, were you able to keep up with Mr. Silas while he was moving? I hope so. So, now we're gonna be able to move and throw our punches. So, this is a great warm-up and a great way to get our bodies ready to move. So make sure you have enough space and you're not gonna be able to bump your hands into any walls or furniture or anything. So, we're gonna get into our guard stance. We're gonna take that step, step forward, and then we're gonna punch, punch. Very good. So let's take a step backwards, step, step, punch, punch. So now let's do it together. Ready? In our guard stance, let's go forward, step, step, punch, punch. Excellent. One more time. Let's go backwards, step, step, punch, punch. Excellent job. Now we're gonna stay moving. We're gonna get our bodies warmed up with our inchworms. So inchworms are a great way to exercise, but it's also great to get our upper and lower bodies ready. So Silas is gonna demonstrate how we do an inchworm. So to start, he's gonna get down, he's gonna walk his hands forward. From here, he's gonna do his very best push-up. And then he's gonna walk his feet all the way to his hands. And he's gonna stretch his arms up. So I like to take a big stretch at the end. Now remember, this isn't our total workout. This is a stretch and a warm up. So once again, let's go the other way if you like, or just start from the start. So get down, walk our hands out, push up down, walk our feet back up, and stretch up. That's one. So let's do two more together. So I'll actually do this next one because this is an excellent way to, to start to do our martial arts. So hands up. I like to stretch and try to touch the ceiling. I walk my hands out. I push up down. Then I walk my feet all the way back to my body. Now, if you'd like to do this around the yard or around your, your room, feel free to just make sure you're being safe and not going to bump your head or anything when you come down. So, stretch up, walk our hands down. Very good. Push up down, walk our feet back up. Very awesome. Hello. Boom. So, now we're going to do a 
upper body stretch. So we're gonna take our arm, bring it across our body, and we're gonna to count together. So let's try this out, Silas. So I'm gonna say one, you say two. So when Silas counts, count with Silas. So let's try this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. So we're gonna bring the other arm across. Ready, Silas? Yes, sir. Very good. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. So we're going to take our hand, pull it behind our head, and ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Switch. Other hand. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. We're going to go back to our guard stance. So one foot forward, one foot back, hands up by our cheek. So now we're going to work on our combinations. We're gonna do a whole bunch of punches, but we're gonna do it in the correct order. So, we're gonna be doing our jabs, our crosses, and we're gonna add in a hook today. So, I'm gonna see if you guys can remember the combination that I just did. So, kind of like Simon says, or the game Simon, I guess. So, I'm gonna do a jab, cross, hook. I'm gonna see if you can do that right afterwards. So, let's see if you can do that. Jab cross hook very good excellent good now let's see if you can do a cross hook cross so our back hand our lead hand is the hook and our back hand again is the cross good so let's try that again cross hook cross good excellent job now let's see if you can do a jab jab cross so our lead hand that's where our lead side punch is coming from that is our jab jab cross so notice how we're using our feet so like earlier when we were doing our foot motion movement we can do those step step add in the combination add in the punches do your very best job like for instance if you have a partner you can work with, you can hold pads. Where are my pads? I don't know what I just did with me. Either way, we can hold a pillow. It doesn't matter. So the idea is if we have a pillow or a pad or anything to work with, our partners can, you can punch the pad. So for instance, I can have Silas take it easy and throw a jab, jab, cross. Try it. So jab, jab, cross. Good. Again, jab, jab, cross. Excellent. And parents, pad holders, you could even give your students space. And it's a lot of fun for them to take those steps forward and add the combination at the end. So I'm gonna step a little farther back and jab, jab, cross. Excellent job, Silas. Now, today, I'd like to work on our lead leg roundhouse kick. But before we get into that, to be able to throw an excellent kick, it takes a lot of control, correct? Yes, sir. Now, control is our, our, our brains are in charge of our bodies. So we're in charge of our actions. Now, if we're going to throw a kick, we don't kick our friends, do we? No, sir. Now, I have brothers and sisters. You have brothers and sisters. And is it okay to throw a kick at our brothers or sisters? No, sir. Absolutely not. Never. So martial artists, we have to remember control. Kicks are a lot of fun, and if we're practicing kicks with a partner, with a pet, make sure we're, we're having that control when we kick. We're not looking to hurt or harm anyone else or hurt ourselves in, the, in that process. So, when we get into our stance, using our lead leg, we're going to pick our leg up, and we're going to strike it across. So, the idea is we pick our knee up, we chamber, then we can turn our leg over and kick. So this is a very awesome kick to do, and if you have a harder time balancing on that back leg, put your hand up against the wall. It really helps with our balance. But the idea is we pick our leg up, we turn our leg over, we're using this blade of our foot. So right here with the, where our shoelaces are at, we can kick with a nice round kick. So once again, knee up, leg over, and kick. So, ninjas, use your kiosk here. Have some fun, pretend to be a ninja. When you get used to kicking with this, try it with the other leg in the front. 
Maybe even have your partner hold a target for you. So, for instance, I can use this pad, hold it out for Mr. Silas. So if his lead leg's going to kick, I'm going to hold it so his opening to her, his leg's going to kick right here. So, again, kick, kick, kick. But the idea is I can give him a target. I can tell him where to kick. Have some fun. Use your kiosk. I want to see it in your videos this week. Show me how good you can do your lead leg round kick. So now Mr. Silas is going to cool us down. He's going to do some workouts with us, getting us ready to, for the rest of our day. All right, guys, so let's get down into a plank position. So your forearms are down just like this, and then put your feet back. We're just going to hold this for a good 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's get into a butterfly position, okay? So pull our feet as close as we can. Try to push our legs down. Do this to where you're feeling it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one leg out. Try to reach for that foot. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, and this will be our last one. One, two, three, four, and five. See you later, everybody. Good. And guys, if I don't hear from you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you.